In this video, I'll show you how to make alpha substation subtitles or ASS subtitles from an SRT subtitle file. Hi, my name is David and if this is your first time watching my videos and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider liking this video and sharing it with your friends so that we can all learn together. Now I'm doing this video because uh, there is a comment uh, for on one of my videos how to embed ASS subtitles uh, to an MP4 video. Uh, from uh, Turkish Serials Urdu, how to make ASS subtitle file. Can you please guide me? I couldn't find a video related to this topic on YouTube. So pretty much just trying to answer this particular question and it's pretty easy. So what we're going to do is that we're not going to create a subtitle file from scratch. I already have a video on how to create an SRT subtitle file. And mostly uh, just a quick explanation an ASS subtitle file is a subtitle file format that uh, stands for Advanced Substation Alpha Subtitles. And these types of subtitles support uh, positioning, uh, styling, uh, you just name it. Uh, having a specific font for your subtitles, etc. So I already have an SRT subtitle file here. And we can just look at the details here. This is an SRT file and I also have the video. If I just double click on, a, on the SRT file, this is what an SRT file looks like. Just a number, time codes, subtitle lines, space, number, and so on and so forth. So we're going to open up subtitle edit. So just open up subtitle edit. Uh, and once we open up subtitle edit, we can just drag and drop our uh, subtitle file. Just drag and drop it. And once we do that, we'll also need to add our video so that we can see uh, if you're getting any changes. Just click on video, open video file, and then navigate to the folder with your video file. Uh, it's already in the folder, how to make ASS subtitles. Just click on it and click on open. If the audio waveform does not generate automatically, you'll see an option to generate the audio waveform if it's your first time dealing with a particular video. So uh, I've already worked on this video a couple of times, that's why I never got that notification. Uh, but uh, if I just double click inside this particular subtitle uh, section here, you'll see the subtitle appear uh, on the video if you're, if you're using uh, the MPV option. Let's go to settings. Uh, let's say video player. If you're using uh, the MPV option. Now, inside the settings, you'll see ASS or SSA style. ASS advanced substation alpha or SSA substation alpha style. Now, SSA is the initial uh, version, but if you click on it, you'll see where you can set up uh, these uh, different fonts that you might need to use for your particular subtitle. The font size, you can choose the color, the outline, the shadow, etc. Everything that you need to do here. So let's say you wanted to have like, and uh, please note uh, the opaque box. It takes the color of uh, more or less the color that you choose for the outline. Now, since this might be a little bit limiting, but if you want to just have a, a setting that you can just go on with, you can set it up here. But let's say we want to set it uh, from the uh, subtitle section. Now here are our subtitles and you can see the format by default is subrip or .srt. Now I'll just click on the drop down and scroll to advanced substation alpha .ass subtitles. Just click on that. And once we click on that, we'll see some new option here. There is the style and all that. Uh, we can just bring this back here. And if I click on this, right click, you'll see advanced substation alpha styles. Now, this uh, may only apply to this particular subtitle. Let's just click on that. And you'll notice that uh, you can import or export styles for uh, that you have uh, or that you're working uh, in collaboration with with somebody else. So if you, are, you can create a good style, then you can share it with your team or somebody else that needs that. Uh, the style storage, etc. The name, you can title it uh, your own name. If it's a custom style, the font, you can change to whatever font that you have. If you have a specific font, and then you can change the font size, the alignment, the left margin, the right, the border, and then notice that the opaque box, that is the box that will surround this uh, uses the outline color. So if your outline color is black, then if I click on this, 
the, the we get a box that's black in color if the outline color is let's say red that's what we'll get uh, let's just leave it as black black and white text so depending on what you want to work with if you want to work with like yellow text let's click ok that changes to yellow but let's just work with uh with white more or less uh, that's not white let's go with zero zero uh, just color code let's go uh, choose color let's just go with everything maximum here here we go it's just at the center there just click ok uh, so that we can get back to the white now if that is all you wanted you can click ok now when we look at this particular initial subtitle you'll notice that it has a box that corresponds to that particular width of the text if we click on the next one uh, just double click it has the same style as well double click double click double click and now we have an ASS subtitle file now really depending on what you want let's say there is some text being obscured here you can just right click and then say alignment and click on top center and that goes up there and you'll see a new uh, code here uh, parentheses forward slash an uh, 8 uh, that potentially describes the position now if that is all you wanted to do for this particular subtitle then you're good to go all you can do now is save and if you look at the other subtitles just double click uh, just double click on this the subtitles are at the bottom they are where they need to be but if you want to do any positioning or anything of that sort then you can adjust the positioning the way you want i hope that this video answers the question on how to make ss subtitles and finally you can just click on file save us and you'll see that the savers type is uh, advanced substation alpha and you can click on save and you'll notice that when we look at the folder uh, let's make this extra large it looks like an eye and this is the uh, almost a default uh, subtitle format for the program called IG sub so if I double clicked on it and I have the program IG sub installed it's going to open inside IG sub so you can see it and you can do any manipulations but i prefer using subtitle edit to create ass subtitle files so this video is for you uh i hope that it has answered your question on how to make ass subtitles so that's it for this video thank you for watching until next time stay safe and never stop learning thank you for watching this video